Hello, this is Danny Kuhn from RSNAP. Today I would like to show you the how to update from Android 6 to Android 7. You need a Windows laptop and USB mail to mail cable. Now we are beginning from installing MTK driver. Run into the browser and search for MTK USB driver auto installer. Select the one says auto installer. Go down and download either 1.12 or 1.13. Both are working. Click start now for downloading. And it will be downloaded soon. And open the file using like the zip extract like 7zip and on compress all files to the C drive slash TMP slash so that W with cancer by is what is equivalent of a slash in uh, Korean Windows. So at that time I was running the uh, Korean Windows. Anyway, go to start button, type in cmd, cd, slash, cd, tmp, dir, and then you will see, you, you will be able to see the contents. Type in media tag, drivers, install, dot, bat. Click yes to the uh, prompt from the window. And once it's done, access and reboot to your laptop. Now the step one is complete and connect. Now connect the RS knob with the laptop with your uh, using the usb cable and open the device uh, manager from the control panel and now reboot rs now once the everything is connected and while uh, your uh, rs now is rebooting you must able to see the uh, mediatic preload of usb vcom driver is being installed and this is very important to write down all these information from your rs now before you begin the next process once you are ready, go to internet. Go to wiki.rsnob.com. Wiki Updating Android 6 to 7. Click on the link. And from there, choose right region and right Android version and right resolution for your uh, current hardware. Select the latest one and download the flashable M8.1.01.0.1.0.1.0.1.0.1.0.1.0.1.0.1.0.1.0.1.0.1.0.1.0.1.0.1.0.1.0.1.0.1.0.1.0.1.0.1.0.1.0.1.0.1.0.1.0
then now we are waiting for the flash m8 file to be fully downloaded so while we are waiting for the huge part to be downloaded we go to the sp flasher tool folder run flash tool and there will be an error prompt that's normal just press ok and look for the downloads agent and select the mtk all-in-one download agent in file and now uh whenever you're doing it uh for the android 6 to 7 update you must select format all plus download so we are still waiting for the large file to be ready it's about a one gigabyte So the file has been downloaded completely. Open the file, select all the file, and extract it to desktop under tab folder and extract it. Now close everything and select, go to desktop where we uncompress all the files and select the scatter file and I did a mistake here uh, because if you see closely it's now saying download only but as i said earlier it has to be um the format all plus download so don't do it like that i just noticed the problem right now so i'm going to stop it and then uh, I change it to format all and download it again. And then go back to your RS knob and then reboot the RS knob uh, using the setting menu and then RS knob will be um, connecting to the system. Now RS knob is now connected and transferring files. Do not interrupt this process and do not touch the USB lines. If this thing goes wrong, there's a high chance that uh, you will need send your device back to us for reparation. And it wouldn't be for free as it was warned in the bunch of warnings uh, in the first uh, few seconds of this video. So it takes about 15 minutes, so now I'm fast forwarding. So step two is done. Reboot your RS now. So step three, go to the download and um, look for the Android 7 modem files. Extract it to a folder. Again, I'm using my desktop folder.
So everything has been extracted. Close all the windows and go to the Android sub modem file folder. Go and go to the folder for SN Writer output and run the SN Writer. And then press system config, choose one MD1 DB, go up. Go to modem file, choose right file for your region. And now first we select the BPL file for the MD1DB and select a PDB file. And then this will and then just check make sure everything is applied and save and now, enter the information you collected before step two. Read this morning. So, enter all the information that you have collected before step two. It has to be original. Once you enter the all the right information, press OK. Reboot your RS knob now. And then you will be hearing some USB connection sound from your laptop. And then the wording will be changing from search searching corner com port and hand to shake. And shake OK. And then switching to MD Meta and uh, initial modem database. And then it passes. So close it and reboot your RS now. Step 4 modem calibration. So again, go to the modem folder. Now go to the calibration folder. Go to Maui Meta folder and run the Maui Meta app. It may take some while when it's starting up first, and then press connect. And then now, reboot your RS knob again. Once you have done and wait, uh, this new window will appear. Make sure the modem is now switch one. And change, uh, roll the uh, MVRAM file. And select for right file for you, US for me. So for the first time, you are going to choose LWG file. It will take some time. And then we press road file and you, we select US FTD for the first time. And then unmark uh, those two barcode and IMEI to be sure yeah and then do it and now you can see everything is going smoothly
and then go to option and switch the modem to SW2. And then the same first change in program file. Now we are going to select the other file that we haven't selected before. Uh, it's LTG file. And then we wrote um, TDD file. Again, uncheck barcode and IMEI. And the execute the downloading process and everything is done so this is how you update the android 6 to android 7 this is only when you require that you are fully upgrading thank you